All right, guys, working on a 2010 Honda Civic. And what we got going on in this car is the mode actuator. And what I mean by the mode actuator is when your key's in the on position and your vents are blowing, this is your mode. Defrost, defrost and floor, floor, vent and floor, and just vent. And this one is just staying at the bottom only. And we've diagnosed it already, and it is a bad mode actuator. And let me show you where that's located. That mode actuator is located right here. And a lot of people are saying you have to take out this vent right here in order to get it out. You really don't have to do that. And I, I cheat basically is what I do and there's nothing wrong with it, perfectly fine. If you look right here, this tab, it sits right here. And the only thing this tab does is hold this one wire in place like that with a clip. So what I always do is I break the corner of that tab off. I drill a hole right here and I wire tie the wire down. And it's just as good as the factory. And by doing that, it gives me access to the bolt right here on the, far, on the side closest to where the passenger sits because you can get the top one up there. And the back one is pretty accessible. Let me show you what kind of sockets I use. These are pretty good sockets. They're swivels. If you don't have a set of these, they're real good to have on hand for things like this. And I do have a long electric, and all I did was reach back there and unscrew it. And when I go back with it, I'll show you a little trick so you don't drop the bolts putting it back. So let's see if I can put this camera in a halfway decent spot so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And by breaking that little tab off, I am able to get on that bolt just like this. I think the hardest part right this minute is working around the daggone camera in the, in the drop light to try to give you guys the best possible angle. that boat I dropped it down inside this little cover right here One actuator motor. Remember when you're going back with this actuator, there's guides right here. This is what controls and tells what's gonna blow where through your vents. If you look right here, there's one right here and one right here. You gotta make sure they get back in those slots correctly because if they don't, you're gonna end up screwing something up. All right, this is what the assembly looks like out of the car. This is the new one going on, it's aftermarket. I'll put a link in the description below. I wasn't able to get one from the manufacturer dealer like this because they said it was national back order, don't know when it's coming in. So let me show you how you gotta take it apart to do it. There's a tab right here. And that tab was gonna lock in right here on the new one. And yes, I've broken many of them over the time. So you just kinda gotta be gentle. If you do break it, it's not a big deal. You'll slide this on and you'll have to glue it right along in here. Pull that tab up really gently comes apart just like that. But again, don't stress, you break it, just glue it on with a little bit of epoxy. It can only go on one way, just like this, flat. We're not gonna put it on just yet because you gotta put the bracket on. Wanna make sure your connectors are going the same way and we'll unscrew that. All right, there's three Phillips head screws. Slide it over to the next one right here. All right, we're gonna take this actuator, line it up and snap it on. You'll hear it snap in. You know you're good to go. All right, let's get it on the car. All right, what I'm gonna do is turn the car in the on position and we're gonna put defrost. You see, it's already moving, so I know we're gonna be good to go. I need to figure out exactly what angle they go on. So what we're gonna do first is <clears throat> it's gonna go in this way. You just gotta keep playing with it. You get it like you want it. Line everything up just right. I 
awfully daggone close. Let me see if I can get one of these screws half ass started in there. That top one is the easiest one to start, so get it started first you, with your fingers, and then you can kind of move this around like you want. Cause this is gonna go just like that. It's kind of hard to tell, but that looks like it's got it just like that. A nipple at the bottom that's gotta go on that bracket. You gotta make sure it's lined up just right, cause if not, it will definitely not work correctly. And it's not a big deal, it's more like just a pain in the butt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one started on here and then just test it to see how it does because to make sure I got it on there right because it's super easy to, to not do it right. But with the one on there like that, it should, should move. Uh, here's a tip I was telling you about so you don't drop your screws. You take a screw, take 3M green tape. We use green here. Why we use green, I don't know. Now we are body shopping. It works better when you're doing body repairs. You're gonna stick it just like that. You're gonna shove it in there just like that. And now it shouldn't go anywhere. I mean, unless you go overly crazy with it. All right, so see, I am definitely not right because it didn't hit jack shit. I'm gonna loosen that top one up just a little bit. I'm not happy with that at all. All right, guys, I had to take it apart and realign it one time. And once I got it lined up, everything is working smooth. Watch it right here. We have the vents on now. Put it on defrost. You can see the wheel moving. Put it on the floor. It goes to the floor and back to the vents. And this is what I was talking about. You drill that little hole right there, put your zip tie on, and you're good to go. And you don't have to remove this piece if you do what I say. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Catch you later.